Hey guys, it's Sensuki. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating the Infinity or the IE mod developed by Besta for Pills of Eternity Backer Beta version 435. Okay, so um, the, what the IE mod is is it's a mod mostly to do with UI related stuff to make Pills of Eternity uh, feel more like playing an Infinity Engine game. Um, as you can see in version 435, we now have the solid UI. Okay, so um, I'm going to go into the options menu. Now what the IE mod does is it creates a new tab in the options menu and it has a bunch of options here that you can go in and enable and disable at your will. Um, so I've already demonstrated all of these features in previous videos. So we've got uh, disable excessive highlighting which disables um, unit highlighting combat. Um, so what what happens when you enter combat is when you mouse over your unit, um, they start blinking in the shade of the color of their selection circle. Um, I find that annoying, so I like to turn that off. Um, I'll talk about disable engagement in a bit. Blue selection circles, so I'm going to turn that on, and always show selection circles. So when I do that, um, it turns on all NPC selection circles, and it changes the color to the Infinity Engine Blue. Um, unlocking combat inf inventory and loot. So that what this one here does is that uh, you can pick up items, swap items around in, in your inventory apart from your armor, and you can also lock pick in combat as well. And um, I'll, the, we've actually changed the disable engagement mod for version 435 because there is a new options menu. Um, in the game options here uh, called Missing GUI 1881 and that is um, disable engagement stop for party members. So what happens when um, a character is engaged in Pills of Eternity is your party member will stop to attack the enemy that they've been engaged by and the enemy AI will also do the same thing. If your party member engages one of them the enemy will stop and they'll start auto attacking you. And you can actually disable this for party members in ver uh, in version 4.3.5. Um, it's not actually very practical to do with engagement on because it means you end up suffering a lot of disengagement attacks because even if you move one pixel away, you'll uh, suffer from a disengagement attack. So it's probably not actually that practical to play with um, in the default game, but it is very handy for the purpose of disabling engagement for this mod. So when I heard that they've added this option, I um, thought of a new way to handle engagement um, for th uh, this version of the mod. And what, what Disable Engagement now does is instead of actually removing, uh, like you'd never be able to be engaged by a character, it actually allows characters to engage each other in the back end. So what happens when, when I move a character up here and attack somebody... That character, I will still engage that character um, in the data side of the game, but what we've done is we've disabled the UI for engagement, so you won't actually see the thicker selection circles or the engagement arrow, but the enemy AI will, um, they will stop to attack you, like what, what happens in, um, in the normal game, because when you disable engagement completely, um, it kind of screws with the AI in Pills of Eternity because... The game is built around the fact that the enemy will stop to attack you if you engage them. And when you take that away, it can co cause some really stupid things to happen in the game. Um, so I think that it's probably best to leave that in just so it preserves the AI function in the game. So what happens um, w when you ha play with this option here and um, no engagement is you run, up, run a character up to a melee enemy and you start attacking them, they will, you will be engaged that character like normal. You can move away and engagement will, will end and there will be a two second cooldown about when you can re-engage another character, but you will actually get that starting AI targeting clause. And I'm going to demonstrate combat um, with that. Huh? Okay, so it, it also still makes uh, engagement abilities that allow um, extra engagement slots to work. I think Defender is the only one and I think there's a talent for it as well. So I will actually turn that on, so we, uh, it will cause two enemies to aggro my BB fighter when I start attacking. Yes. Um, I'll move my rogue yes. over here. Mm -hmm. I shall. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to open combat with a knockdown. Okay, so I've done that. And I'm just going to queue up some attacks here.
Uh, I can't projection doesn't work in this patch. Okay, so now what I can do is I can I can move this fighter away without suffering any any uh, attacks of opportunity. But I did get the initial AI targeting, and I am actually being chased by these by the boar and by that guy there. Um, it does look a bit silly, but it, it does allow for that initial um, targeting to work rather than it screwing up. And I can you I can still like. The fighter will re-engage these guys and still keep them attacking him. So I can I can move my move my character away. It ends engagement and now um, Medrath is engaged by the BB Rogue. So instead of chasing um, my barbarian here, which he probably would have done with the engagement disabled, he actually turns to attack the rogue because he's engaged by the rogue and that keeps the AI targeting sensible, which is what we want. So I can run around and swap targets. Um, like that really nicely, which is really good. Take this fucking monk out. Okay, so, uh, as you can see now, removing engagement is actually a lot more clean, um, and the game plays a lot more normal, um, which is really good. Now there is like one thing that we are going to have to do um, for the full game, and that is provide um, modified abilities, items, and spells that have um, stuff that gives bonuses against disengagement attacks. Um, I will probably include. Uh, I will go through and modify those when um, someone updates Bester's Pills of Eternity editor to work with the new version. So yeah. Um, are there, there was another thing that was added in this version, and that's uh, a console command that allows you to change the selection circle thickness. So I think it's uh, cell circ width, and you can, and it's like 0, 0.0 something. So as you can see, I change it to 0.05, and makes them thicker. Um, the stock version, the stock circle um, in 435 is 0.04. I prefer 0.03, which I think looks a bit better, but you can. You can use your own value, like 0.025, to make them a bit thicker. Oh, I think that's pretty good as well. I think I'll go with 0.03, and that saves, as you can see, it pastes into the combat log, and it also saves, um, it persists between saves as well, so it's a value that's saved for the mod. Um, well, I think that's everything that I need to demonstrate here. Obviously, all of the features from the um, previous versions work. The mod now works with Linux. I think there's a Linux uh, version there. And it should be if someone uploads a, a Mac um, binary, then we should be able to. Sorry, not a binary. If someone uploads a Mac DLL, we should be able to make a version of that pretty easily. Um, and it does look like there's going to be a new Pills of Eternity uh, patch before release. Uh, Brandon Adler said they'd like to do another one as well, which is good. So Best is going to probably keep updating the mod but I don't know if he's actually going to keep working on it after the game release. So it'd be nice if anyone's interested to um, contact me or Bester if you want to get involved and help us implement some of these changes. But anyway, that's all I wanted to demonstrate with this video, the change to what how engagement works and the selection circle thickness. Thanks for watching, guys, and look forward to the next video.